hello beautiful souls welcome back or to my channel so this arrived today and oh my goodness where do we start here this is the thistle down oracle so it come with all these goodies i haven't even unwrapped it yet our entire household has been exposed to COVID. We have one or two positives so far, so I didn't really want to contaminate everything, but I also need to keep myself busy because I have, we've had COVID twice now. Now it's coming in three times, so I really need to keep myself busy because I don't do well with the COVID. So we get this little thank you card. little envelope. I think the dragon may be um, either from one of their other decks or possibly this one. I'm not sure. Certificate of Authenticity, Thistletown, Three Trees Tarot, Volume 4. I believe that's a 4. I'm not good with Roman numerals. Number... 2,156. Wow, date August 19th, 2022. So that is really cute. And just so happens, this is as far as I've looked, I get the my favorite card out of the whole deck here. I think this is a card that's in the deck, but it's the horse. And I'm really hoping, coming soon, the little mouse... A big world, so much to, oh my gosh, they've got another one coming. Oh, I have their Oak Ash and Thorn, and I absolutely love it, so I figured this deck would pair up with it beautifully. And then we get this. Salutations. If you're meeting me for the first time, I'm Thistledown. An oracle deck that can be used for reflection and introspection. I hope today finds you well. And if it doesn't, I hope you find some joy as you get to know me better. I can be a sleepy deck with many of my cards encouraging you to slow down and find comfort in a peaceful, cozy corner of your mind. You'll find cards that you... Sorry. You'll find cards that ask you to rest, pause, re-energize, and retreat. If you feel lost... My cards encourage you to ask for help, celebrate all that you are, and not forget the incredible impact you have on the world around you. When you feel lonely, know you're not alone and be kind to yourself. And if fear creeps in, I urge you to be bold. Confront your doubts and look into the light and miss the dark. Whether you want to focus your day by pulling one of my cards, gain a fresh perspective by drawing a few, or find inspiration in my imagery, I'm the very deck for you. You can even use me for goal setting, story writing, or journaling. So go out there and be brave. The forest is yours to explore. Sincerely yours, Thistletown. And it's got this little pattern on the back. And then we have this piece of artwork. I'm not sure from which one of their decks this one is from. I only have the um, Oak, Ash, and Thorn, and now this one. And here are the beautiful cards. So I'm going to set all these things aside. Very, very nice. They always send such nice little things with their decks. They, you can tell they put a lot of love into their work. I did think this was going to be a bigger deck, but, but it's perfectly fine. I got this um, piece of artwork when I got the um, Oak, Ash, and Thorn, and I believe the owl is in here. I'm not sure, though. But uh, yeah, Thistletown coming soon. But I keep this out on one of my altars because owl is my spirit animal and I just, I adore owls. So we do have a tuck box, but they're not horrible tuck boxes. Although it will not be 
house in there. Oh, it is quite tiny. I would like to compare it with the Oak, Ash, and Thorn. So give me just a moment to do so. I'm talking size-wise. Oh yeah, it's wider, but quite shorter. Not quite, but, or no, it's not wider. It's the same width, but shorter than the Oak, Ash, and Thorn. Interesting, I might as well leave that out just so we can look at some cards together. Okay, so let's open them and have a look. Oh, let's zoom. So, cardstock, I would say is just like the oak ash and thorn and that's just a author card so that's cute i will put it around my one of my altars i love cards like that little cards like that so you have the nope that's side d side b side a b c d so you're getting this is your little card meanings, but I had also in my email received a um, Thistletown guidebook, digital guidebook, which was really nice. So you get those little cards, just like you do with the Oak Ash and Thorn. So these are the backings, which are so cute. And the backings of the Oak Ash and Thorn. And let's go ahead. Oh. Okay. Oh, and we have another one. I'll give one to my daughter. She loves little things like that. Salutations. So another card from the author. And then we go into the cards. This one here has no title on it. Okay, so they are nice and matte. Usually you don't hear me say that, but when it comes to this deck, I have never had problems getting, um, well, when it, Oak, Ash, and Thorn, I didn't have any trouble getting um, jumpers from that deck, but um, I don't mind my oracles. So we have here a dragon with acknowledgement. And I forget how many cards we have. But they are gorgeous. Awareness. Oh my goodness. Balance. <laughs> Bravery. There's the horse, but I don't think it's the horse that I've seen in the image. No. So this could quite possibly be for their next deck. Yep, the little mouse there. Oh my goodness, can you imagine what that deck's going to be like? So, but anyways, I knew there was a horse card in this deck, and I love that it's calm. Celebration. Wow, how gorgeous. Community. There he is. Contentment. I love it. Control. Q. 
curiosity. Darkness. These are going to be so fun to read with the two of them paired up. Dawn. Decision. Oh my goodness, the squirrel. Dreams. We have a dragon down here. And some type of bird carrying the squirrel. Explore. Magnifying glass. Ferocity. Friendship. Oh. Oh my goodness, look at him all oh, and it's grief. Guardedness. Looks like a little baby dragon in there. Guidance. I love this. Haven. They're so little. The cards. Individuality. Wow, how beautiful is that card? Intrigue. <laughs> He's intrigued by that little coin or whatever it is down there. Kindness. Knowledge, that is a gorgeous card. Light. Listen. Look up. There are signs all around you. Making space. Memory. Look how beautiful. And the, the ring. That's quite touching for me. My sister loved her emeralds and since her passing, which wasn't long ago, our house, we have, um, it's been taken over outdoors by cardinals. And here we have memory and she loved her rings and one of her favorite stones was the greens, the emeralds and stuff. That's just, you know, there's a sign. How I just said, <clears throat> look up, the signs are all around us. Moving forward. I love this with the snails. So even though you're moving forward, it may take some time, but you're still moving forward. Oh, navigation. If you know me guys you know I love squirrels I just I love them opportunity
patient. Yeah, we have a lot of mice in here, so I can see how their next deck is going to be. What is it called? A little mouse. I'm excited for that. We have paws. Planning. Protection. Re-energize. Beautiful. Release. That's him. Resourcefulness. A little dragon in there. Oh, rest. Retreat. Look at all the little pocket watches and such around him. Safety. Seeking magic. Love it. Serenity. Shelter. Shelter from the storm. Silver linings. Warmth. And here we have Three cards with um, no uh, title on them, so I'm not sure what those ones are. Um, where did our little? Okay, <clears throat> let's see. Okay, and as a little magical bonus to celebrate our first Oracle deck, we have included a limited edition art card, a mystical thistle radiant and cryptic in the forest, a gift to use and enjoy as you please. Okay, that wasn't it. Okay, yep. No, no. <laughs> Your Oracle deck includes two unique blank cards, each with a beautiful... Estrelle. Initially, these were planned as yes or no cards, okay? However, we realize they could be interpreted either way, so feel free to use your intuition to be guided to your chosen meaning. So that's this one, or these two. So this is the this must be the um, mystical uh, this will radiant and cryptic in the forest a gift to use and enjoy as you please. So these gosh these are so pretty so pretty. I don't get yes or no. Well, I kind of get yes off here and I kind of get no off here because this one's got more of a darker theme and this one's a little bit more brighter. But as they said, you know, the, um, to use your intuition. So let's shuffle them and we'll pull one and we'll see what the little papers say. Obviously, I do have the guidebook, the digital guidebook, but it's, it's on my desktop, so... And you get a lot of nice little information on in there about the cards. Yep, 
they are just like, they feel just like the, um, Yeah, I'm speechless. <laughs> they feel just like the Oak Ash and Thorn. Okay, let's see. And look at that. Jumpers. So we got guardedness. And I'm just trying to find which <clears throat> little meaning card that that would be on. Because, okay, they're kind of all you know, mushed in together. Guardedness. It's important to set boundaries, and that's what you get. So this is a card about boundaries. That's their take on it anyways. So this extra card here will be going up on a shelf, as well as the horse and the little mouse, which is so adorable. Um, beautiful, beautiful deck. And let's just see here what it looks like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Gorgeous. Another very happy purchase. Can't go wrong with this company. I'm very excited for their new deck as well. Thank you all so much for watching. Take care and be blessed.